Welcome to 3Design. Now that you're installed, let's take a look at getting started within the program. Let's start by looking at the home screen. This is the root screen that shows when you first start the program. And every time you start the program, you'll see this screen. We have some options on here. There's some buttons across the top. The first one is a guided tour of 3Design. So it gives you a nice overview of the screen layout. It's a great place when you first start the program to get a feel for where things are located. We're going to go over most of these in this video right now as well. Back at the top, anytime you want to get back to that home screen, you can click the home button. The second button is the what's new page. This page gives you a list of bug changes and updates in the current version. Back at the home menu, we'll look at the third button, which is the forum. This links directly to the 3design.com forum. You can also reach this by going to your web browser and typing in 3design.com slash forum. Go back home, and we also have a Facebook link and a YouTube link. These take us to our official Facebook and YouTube pages. Great place for beginners to um, get some information. Make sure you follow us on Facebook for updates. The two main buttons we have is to open a project or create a new project. You also have a list of the previous six documents that you've been working on. So you can quickly get back to the most recently used documents. I'm going to go ahead and click on the new project button and we'll take a look at the rest of the screen layout. What we see here is the main viewport surrounded by several toolbars. These can be resized, they act as drawers. On the left side, you'll see that it's divided into two, two sections. On the top left, we have the history tree. This is where we keep track of all the parametrics that are going on when we're building our files. The very top is the root, which will actually take you back to your home screen. The bottom left is the properties. Right now it's blank, but if I click on any tool on the right side, you'll see that the properties for that tool open up here. Cancel out of that one. Back to the right side, we have our toolkit. This contains all the tools we'll be using in 3Design, and you'll notice that at the very bottom is another bar where we can split this window. You pull that up and that's where you can find your help menu. The help menu is context sensitive. As long as you're on this fourth tab and you hover over an icon in the toolbar, it will show you the page of the help for that tool. Usually when I'm not using it, we'll minimize the help menu so we can see more tools. At the very bottom of the screen is another toolbar you can pull up, and that is your library. The first tab is your pre-built symbols. To bring an object in from the library, you can simply click it and drag it onto the screen. Or you can double click it. Close the library when you're finished, and then you validate. Let's take a look at the different tools and modules available in 3Design. Right now we're in the part module. This is where we build most of our regular CAD objects. There's two actual benches. One is the Create Solids, which we're in now. This has your basic CAD tools. If we click the title Create Solids here, it switches to the Jewelers bench. This has all our jewelry specific tools like ring creation, stones, settings, etc. Click it again to switch back. The rest of the modules are accessed through the toolkit. The first one we have is the part module. That's the one we're already in. We can also add sketches. By clicking on sketch, it's going to create a sketch in the default plane. And this is where all our drawing tools are located. 
Anytime you're in a different module, you can exit current editor. This little arrow button here will take you back to the previous module you're in. So clicking that will take me back to the part module. The third one is rendering. The fourth icon, if you've purchased it, it will be deep image. This is a plugin renderer from Luxology. The next one is modeling. This is our shaper module. Again, if you've purchased that add-on, you'll have access to that. And the final one is advanced parametrics. And this will be discussed in upcoming videos. Let's take a look at the main viewport. That's the center section of the screen where we actually build everything. We also see some planes and axes. Those also show in the axes and plane folder at the top level of your history tree. There are three axes, the X, Y, and Z, and three planes. All of these start with zero or O, meaning that they are in the origin of the screen. So everything is related to the very center of the universe. Your X axis is this one going across this direction. Your Y is opposite of that. These are your flat 2D axes. We have a third one, which is the Z, which goes up and down, which gives everything depth. These axes are frozen by default. That default can be changed in the F12 options. You can also right click and hide or show any of these objects, plus any objects in your tree, by just right clicking and using the hide, show, and freeze options. The planes help us orient things to specific views. The XY plane, which is our flat plane, would be in relation to the top view. The XZ relates to the front view. And the YZ is the opposite of that. Let me go ahead and show that so we can see it. Like I said, they, by default, it's hidden from view. And that is our side view plane. Another quick way to look at these specific views straight on is to use the compass. You'll notice that it's a little box and it highlights where you can click on it. You can also click on the axis arrows, these three color coded arrows, X, Y, and Z. By highlighting and clicking on them, it'll take you directly to those specific views. If you wanna see the top of the ring, click on the top, etc. Once you're in a straight view like this, you'll see that the compass turns with a red border around it. If you click that red border, it'll automatically flip your screen 180 degrees. Also, when you're in a flat view, you can click the white arrows to flip the screen 90 degrees. Finally, we have another menu hidden from view. If you hover over the 3Design CAD logo, you'll see some more view options like zoom buttons, rotation buttons. And this one's very helpful. It is your isometric view, which takes you back to this three quarter view that we started in. I've loaded a previous file so we can talk about how to use the three button mouse to manipulate the screen and navigate 3Design. Left clicking in 3Design is used for selecting and clicking on tools and highlighting things. For example, I can click the ring, it'll turn blue. That means it's selected. Double clicking will usually take you into the properties of that object you're clicking. The right mouse button is used in two ways. If you just click on something, it's context sensitive. We have some view menus here. If I click into empty space, if I right click on an object, we see we have shortcuts to hide and freeze, export, undo and delete, etc. The right mouse button is also used for rotating the screen. If you right click and hold the mouse and move the screen, you can see that you can rotate the view. I find it easiest if you think about clicking and then pulling it towards you to look at specific sections. Short movements tend to work better. If you're rotating and you go off of the viewport, you'll notice that the screen keeps spinning. 
to stop that, just right click and it'll quit. Zooming is done with the middle mouse wheel. By simply rolling the wheel back and forth, we can zoom in and out. You can also click the middle mouse button and slide your mouse back and forth for a much smoother zoom. The last way we manipulate the screen is panning. Panning is done in two ways. The first is the pan to. So if I wanted to maybe look more closer at the top of this ring or at the stone, I'm gonna hold right and left mouse button down together. You'll see that the screen pans and centers wherever I had clicked. And then I can zoom in on that section. You also have free pan, and to do that with just the mouse, hold right and middle mouse button down together, and then you can pan the screen around freely. The keyboard shortcut for panning is to hold shift and alt, and then use the left mouse button to slide the screen around. That's a quick overview of 3Design. You may be asking, where do I go next? 3Design training classes are available throughout the year across the country. Contact your sales rep for more information. More helpful information is available by exploring the folder which you installed 3Design in. You'll find the doc folder. This includes the actual manual as well as some samples and a handbook. Another good place to get started is in the three design forum. Once you're registered, you'll notice the video demonstration series as well as the members lounge, which contains our video training sessions. And finally, don't forget about YouTube. There's tons of great information on getting started in three design there as well.